What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Are you poppin'? Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Table, holy smokes, bro. I come bearing gifts, and, and I think I think we're live now. We're live. Yeah, we're live. We're live. We're live. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, okay. And we're good. Okay. Very good. good. So, right. people, we are here with dun, the dun, Honorable dun. Akua, and she's brought Akua's gems. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And from empty-handed. That's right. Shouts out Akua. So, respect yeah. and respect. So, We've got some stones and some jewelry made of stones and you know. Okay, so um, let's first set the stage for this presence. This is a, this is a uh, community activist. She's also um, a community advocate. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's also um, somebody who is a cosmetology with the okay. brother back in yeah, back we, in the we, days. we took cosmetology together. That's right, I took cosmetology. He, he did, he did. I'm well rounded. Man was wa uh, finger waving. You were finger waving. What do you mean? What do you I mean? mean? Yo, we need more. Watch on set. What do you uh, mean? Uh, he was there. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, he was there. So Central Tech, big up yourself. Wow. Big up yourself. Central Tech oh. cosmetology. <laughs> wow. That's not, this is after I got my plumbing. Wow. Okay, I done the plumbing, I was finished. Right. So I have more credits to get. Right, so just come to wash and set. All right, the only thing I do is key and roll, and you know right. why. Right, all right. And then, because bad man do them things. Oh, all right. Because if, if I learned how to cane roll, guess who's going to be doing beer man's head in, right. that, 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 on the range? No, that, that looks kind of funny. That's it. Yeah, no, no, we don't do that. No, no not do that. that. I'll do a pink roll, because, you know, I, yeah, you can wash my girls here. So you know, yeah, you, have a, you, have a, you should advertise that skill to ladies. You know, you can start that service. Nah, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know. If you, if you could remove weave, you're a fucking man. But you're a man. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. I'm out the game. I'm letting you know. Have you ever been handed a scissors and someone says, "I need you to cut this out"? You feel like you're diffusing a goddamn bomb, right? You feel like you're diffusing a bomb. You're like, I want to cut out the whole drill here, goddammit. The yellow wire. Shouts out for you taking cosmetology. All right. So and that, that's just a little background. Right, right. Because like we said, what's popping, like, wow. it's not just celebrities and, and, and people of interest. These are our people. Right. And you know celebrities in our own right. All right. So now we're going to get to the actual nut, nutty, nitty gritty of the thing. Mm -hmm. See? So first of all, because you deal with gems and stones and you deal with spirituality and these higher level things. First, I want to ask you about your journey. Mm. Let's talk about your journey. Um, it doesn't have to be from start to finish, but like from realization right, right. to what, what you're doing now. Well, um, Jamaican background, Jamaican family. So Shout girl, out Jamaica. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just be it. Um, focus, focus. Stones, focus, yes. grounded. Right. Anyways, mm -hmm. but, um, Grew up in a very strict Christian household, mm -hmm. so I was um, went to Sunday school, went to church. I taught Sunday school. I led youth ministry. Um, sweet hour of prayer. Pray. Sweet hour of prayer. <laughs> Great is the faithfulness and all these things. Right? Yes. Yeah, right. Praise Sunday so, school. Right. You know, and Jesus loves me and all these things. Right. There's, yeah. a, there's a guy in my mom's church. He just used to say this, man. No amen, man. <laughs> like, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, no, but so you just led to something that was interesting um, in my in my journey. So one, I grew up like that, but as myself, as Garcia Akua, I was always a curious intellectual child. I was always reading books. I was always studying. That was something that I just loved to do naturally. It was weird, but yeah, I was a nerdy black girl. So. Yeah. I would always have like my backpack full of books and I'd take all these random subjects and go home and read about them. Um, high school, I used to skip school to go to the library to read. Like, mm -hmm. It was weird, but mm -hmm. these are the things that were interesting to me. So in reading in other people's religions, reading different people's cultures, I was seeing that a lot of the things that were in the Bible, other people believe it too, but just in their own way. But from Christianity point of view, 
don't follow this way, you're going to hell. You're going to burn up in a hellfire. Right? So it was interesting to me that you're saying this, but the Buddhist is saying the same thing. The Muslim is saying the same thing. Read Bhagavad Gita, the Hindus are saying the same thing. The Brahmins are saying the same thing. Basically, everybody's saying, love each other, love your creator, love the earth. Everybody's basically saying that. Yeah. In all different common, types of ways. I used to call them the common denominators, because, you know. That's what, it. What, what are you going to do if you're not going to do this? Let me say, I'm just going to take the common denominators from every religion in the world and I'll be good. And this is how you get understanding of other people. But when we stay in ignorance, life. right, we stay in ignorance to say that things only have to be this complete way. It's, it's, it's ludicrous. How do you grow? How does your mind expand? So that was one part for me. Um, I've always been a, a very vivid dreamer. I have dreams my whole life. And really, and you remember really, them. Yeah, and I remember that. I don't I remember have, no, I have that's, a very that's the key clear, thing, remember the precise dream. dreams. Mm -hmm. I have dreams about things that happen before they happen. Sometimes that's very scary. I, I dreamt about 9-11 like a year before 9-11 happened. I was telling people about it. People thought I was crazy. Then 9-11 happened. Um, <clears throat> So I have very vivid dreams. Wow. So I had a dream in 2015, and basically in that dream I was told, I seen in that dream that people on the earth were like rioting and they were hungry and they were like mashing up the street and stuff. And two deities who I understand who those deities are now, um, Tehuti and Ma'at, basically told me go study this. That was my dream. Go study stones and go study Jupiter. And what I took from that was go study crystals and astrology yeah. yeah and based how the dream looked and the things that he told me about jupiter and the things that she told me about stones that's what i was supposed to do i never knew nothing about stones at that time completely mm -hmm. honest um and because i had a christian mindset in the back of my mind i was kind of nervous yeah think about the last days like these but are the last days as i started to like study more and get I was like this it's like i knew it my whole life was like, this is what i'm supposed to do like everything just makes sense so easy and i just it just grasps so easily for me so i was like really really i think all this studying 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 this is where it's led me to now can i say that this is going to be my be all end all mm -hmm. i can't say that's going to like this is this is def definitely it no i'm constantly growing but where i am now is stones you keep evolving that's it. That's, That's not, it. We all keep evolving. I, I like. Um, I would wonder if you actually really trace back your lineage. If somebody in your bloodline was like a, 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 a healer. Or yeah, but I know that might no, But my know that like, it's the same stuff, right? It's it's you're right. Like they, that type of energy just man, manifests manifests itself in different ways. So I know for myself, my great grandmother, she knew how to deal with bushes and herbs uh, and those types of stuff. Those are things that also come from the earth. Same my thing. thing is stone. Comes from the earth. Comes from the earth. earth. But she was very keen on those things and she was able, like, if this person has a cold, yes. yeah, go drink this, this and that, and she can find something yes. to heal you, yes. naturally. Yep. So I know that that energy is in our bloodline, that energy is in my family. So, yeah, I think some things are passed down to us and we don't know until we actually, you start to learn yourself. Okay. So these are, so in, in your journey, this is, this is, this, these are some of the reasons. Okay, so you felt... And then, has anything besides the dreams happened in terms of maybe a omen, a sign that says, yo, another reason why you know you should be doing this? Well, when I got that dream at that time, um, I was just diagnosed with severe anemia, like very, very low iron, mm -hmm. and to the point that like, they wanted me to get blood transfusion and stuff, and I'm really, you guys know me, I'm not taking nobody's blood, I'm not taking any drugs, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just really just not for it, so... At that time, I was also searching for natural ways to heal myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that dream came and <clears throat> I started to study that. So from then, I started to look at how I can look at natural ways. Crystal meditation, um, using, crystal, using the use of crystals as medicine, um, the use of crystals for healing, and test myself. Mm -hmm. So. And what's changed with your anemia? Well, I'm not anemic. Well, like... There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. What? 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 I'm not going to, like, I don't want to sell nobody a dream neither. And like, oh, I just picked up this stone and, you know, after two days it went away. No, it's working with it stones, process, yes. working with crystals. And, and I, this is just for any type of healing that you're doing in life. It requires you to do work. Right? So somebody will say to me, oh, I want a crystal to attract money. 
vibratus. It's not vibranium. It's not. We, it we, we said it was vibranium. It's That's what he it's said. It's 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 said vibranium. Listen, if it's not from Marvel, where is this stuff from? <laughs> Earth? <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually from Earth. It's called pyrite. This is the merchant stone. Oh, wow. That's what it's called. Did you say it's a merchant? That's what, that's what it is. Yeah, the oh. merchant stone. It's pyrite. Wow. So they call it this stone fool's you. gold. Because wow. remember that all this stuff comes from the ground. So when people are exploring and digging, sometimes they would come across this and be like, oh, we found gold, we found gold. It's pyrite. Yeah. I would have said, right? I would see, I, my, me, I, I would have said, yo, is this platinum? <laughs> I would have been running around thinking, what in the world? So, so cool. this is a stone that does help one mm -hmm. to attract and hold money. Mm -hmm. However, not because you have this stone means that it's magically going to work. Mm -hmm. You need to budget yourself. Mm -hmm. you, need to, you understand? Mm -hmm. yep. You need to know that I can't afford this and I have to live within my means. You have to, that's the energy that you have to put out. So this is the tangible outside that matches that energy. Mm -hmm. All the energies of these crystals are all made up of minerals. Yeah. All of these minerals are inside your body. Mm -hmm. So if you want to align something, it starts with the inside. Yeah. So when I wanted to find healing for my anemia, it started with the inside, changing my diet, looking at the things that I was eating, looking at the things that was contributing to me having a bad cycle, which mm. contributed to me having, having anemia. Mm. So you have to look at all of these things. You have to that, eat a lot more greens? Right. Eat a lot more greens, use natural products, because even as women, we don't realize the stuff we put on our skin, the stuff we put on our hair, all of these things goes into our bloodstream and, expect, and affects our hormones. Yes. So all of, it's not just crystal healing, but I made waist beads for myself oh. that helped me to work with my, to regulate my cycle. Yeah. Right? Oh. My waist beads are so, made out of moonstone, so, okay, which is yeah, a crystal so that, now, right? I, with that right there. I see a lot of women with the beads around, but now you actually have, there's actually a, um, there's beads and then there's crystals. Right. That's, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. Right. There's beads so, and then there's crystals. You waste be beads have been around for ages. These are something that our ancestors have used. These are something that our ancestors gave our, our young children as from they were born as a symbol of status. This is the tribe that you represent. This is the aspirations that we have okay. for you. This is who we think you're going to be based on when they sat down with the ancestors and mm -hmm. in prayer and meditation. This is who's coming forth. So you got your beads to represent that every yeah. stage of, of your womanhood journey then you got your cycle you're into a different level of womanhood now we give you a new set of beads when you get married you get a next set of beads when you have your children you have a next set of beads so it, it represents your womanhood your femininity I take those same waist beads and add crystals to it because it's on our womb area mm -hmm. and regardless if you're having a child or not, this is the area that you create from. This is the area that you manifest from. Mm -hmm. So when we're even looking at our, at our chakra system, mm -hmm. you're looking at like your, your sacral chakra and your, and your solar plexus chakra. This is where creation happens mm -hmm. for all of wow. us, man or yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. for a woman now, when, when they ask me for waist beads, that's what, what do you want to manifest right now? Um, and that's also that's why. okay. Uh, th th you see, okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, no, but, but sometimes I'd be walking and I'd be like, How old is this girl with waist beads on? And then I'd be wondering, I'd be like, I, I'm not sure what but the some, ideology is. But some now, because it's so trendy and it's cute, a lot of girls wear them for a fashion statement. Really and truly, you should never see my waist beads. I have on six waist beads right now. None of y'all don't know that because it's not your business. Okay. So it's not shaking when you're walking to make a chink. Yeah, you're so walking when you're going to get the chink. Right? You, you may hear it, but I'm always going ching ching because oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> always, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. yeah. I'm always making some kind of noise. Yeah. But your waist beads is really what you're manifest, what you're manifesting. That's between me and the Most High. That's between me and the Creator. That's between me and the ancestors. That has nothing to do with you, mm -hmm. anybody else. So your waist beads should really be hidden. You shouldn't be showing them. So, so no belly tops. If you're gonna wear a belly <laughs> top, then you wear. You can put on one for fashion for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. But if you're going to make something for a particular reason, and this mm -hmm. is like the like I was saying, the ones that you got from your family that represent your status, it's your tribe. Sacred. That's sacred. But you can summertime come, belly skin, hot girl, summer all them something yeah. Yeah, flip on your waist beads if you want. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Nobody's not yeah. stopping you. But the real intention of it is for you to manifest. Mm -hmm. um, what you said about the, 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 the chakras being in your center there, mm -hmm. the abdomen area, that made me think about when you're working out. You know, they want you to build your core. Once you build your core, you can build all the other muscles right. easier and faster. 
and, and like so it all comes stability yeah. stability yeah. and when you look see so you just took like the physical to it mm -hmm. so when you're looking at our chakra systems the lower a lot of people would like to tell us like bond the ego and your ego is bad your ego is not bad your ego is necessary mm -hmm. you can't be ruled by your ego yes mm -hmm. it's balanced Yes. So remember we were talking thank earlier you, before we you, came you, on, you, and I was talking about like the different levels of fire that we have here, right? Yeah. So we have Aries fire there, this is the child, this is the first sign of the zodiac, so this is a child, mm -hmm. right? So th this is a fire of creation, spark, okay. ideas, yes. yes! Oh my yes. god, I'm so excited! Impulsive, yes. impulsive. impulsive. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you have a next level of fire, which is Leo. Mm -hmm. And Leo is more like the young man coming into manhood. So he took all of this energy and the ideas and the impulsiveness now. And I know who I am, royal. Put these two together, you're going to respect action. me. This is my, this is my, this is now this idea, I'm going to create it into something. Mm -hmm. And you're going to respect what I create. Manifest. Right? Yeah? You're going to respect that shit. I'm the boss, I'm the king of the jungle. Yeah. The lion. Lion. Ambassa. Leo. <laughs> But then you have now, when we come now, we come now to Sagittarius, which is the mixture of both of you. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was saying, that the duality of two energies coming to one. Mm -hmm. It's two want, to one. Because they're around December time, right? They want two Christmas gifts on them. <laughs> 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 but they're special like that because the, bo the, the bottom of them, the bottom of them is animal, Leo. Mm -hmm. And the top of them is Aries, man. And they have the arrow now, oh, and wow. they sh so they're targeted. I take your two energies, and I I, I try to hone it, yeah. and I see the target. Boom! I'm gonna catch it because I'm using both of your so creative like, spark it, it, and it, impulsiveness, would my regalness, and now I can put this into a philosophy wow. and test it and say, all right, let me test oh. this. Boom! I got the arrow. Boom! Mm -hmm. So that ego is needed because yeah. he's half animal, half man. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Well, yeah. what I'm saying. We need that yeah, shoot, balance. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, but if you never have the ego, you wouldn't show it. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yes, the, 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 it's, like, it's like all of us, all of our signs can grow into more power. Like, like the Aries sign isn't going to stay that child. No, forever. they're going to grow. Exactly. They're going to grow. And, and this is how you like, learn uh, from each other. You know how to tap into your energy because you're exactly. fire. So my evolved state of fire is Sagittarius yeah. fire. Maybe it's a white flame. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to uh, I know, flame. and not even just that. Maybe it's just to direct where I shoot the flame. Cause oh, sometimes okay. the red flame and the orange flame have come out. So it's I'm, needed. So I'm ha I'm happy we're here with this, cause your zodiac sign is actually plays to people's personalities. And I, I I like I said I do believe that because like I said ever since Instagram came around it's been kind of weird. Everyone I know born in yeah. January, even if they don't know each other, and I just have to know them, like, no, they all have similar traits. All my people born in March all have, it's like, and then even me, my birthday's in December, I'm like, all December people move like this. Like, I'm like, wow, this is why, it, like, this because is. Because the energies influence us, so we all have similar traits, and then we're all different. Because then some people are like, hold on, so you're, you're born the same time as me, we don't act like me. Yes. Yeah, it's different, like, I don't understand yeah, that. some people are on the cusp. Of but not, not even just that, we, we have to look at the whole entirety of things. So a lot of us just look at what the sun, where the sun was, what, what's our sun sign. Yeah. I'm a Gemini, I'm a Sagittarius, I'm yeah. an Aries, yeah. I'm a Leo, right? Where was the moon? When you're where was Mars? Yeah. Where was Jupiter? Where are all of these places? These things also influence how you behave. So like because I do charts for people, I will look and see certain, certain similarities. Um, okay, people who have, I have a moon in Taurus. People who have a moon in Taurus, we all act similar too. Oh, so you're a Taurus? I have a moon in Taurus. Oh, a moon in Taurus. What is that? Okay, I want So my that son is in this. My son is in Gemini. So when I was born on June the 11th, the sun was in the horoscope of Gemini, but the moon was in the horoscope of Taurus. Oh, so you're so, a so you're a bully too. Okay. So but you know, but you guys know that I'm a bully. Yeah, but I know. Like, now you understand <laughs> why. Now I'm realizing. I'm like, look, that's all. Now you understand why. Oh. <laughs> right? Okay. So, but the bully is my moon. So this is how I think and how I feel about this yes. high process. Yeah. My sun sign is my personality, what people see. The sun, it shines. Yeah. The moon is your emotions. Yeah. How you process yeah, emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
I'm a bully and to that's, protect that's my emotions. Because it, go it governs the female, it represents the female. The right. Female. It's about emotions. It's about emotions. Oh, so wow. I need to find so out my moon, my moon when sign. When I look at my moon sign now, now I understand because as a Gemini, I'm very talkative. I'm very naive in that sense. I can trust people and have big conversation with everybody. But my Taurus moon is like, no, you're not trying to them. Are you stupid? And if this person mm -hmm. violates you, I'm going to fuck. I'm gonna. No, you can say it. You can say it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is that. But that's the bowl. Yeah. That's all. This is wow. Right? So when you start to look at the whole aspect of things, then you start to really understand people. You're like, okay, this is why you behave like that because I read Mars indicates your action, your ambition. Mars is fire, Aries. That's, that's me. Rules, rules, Aries. Fourth right? planet Mars. from the sun. Right? So the Mars is at your ambition. Your aggression, how you deal with conflict. Mars is all of these How about things. me, Sagittarius? What would my planet be? You have, you have to look at your No, we have to, that's what I was going to ask. Oh. December 1. Oh, yeah. Hold on, Sagittarius, your planet is Jupiter. Jupiter? That's Ooh. the planet that rules. What? All right, what so about Jupiter? Out of all the planets? Is Jupiter's the biggest planet. Jupiter is the biggest planet, but there's nothing not going on Jupiter. No, no, no we're talking stop. about Jupiter's planet. Jupiter is going on Jupiter. Back in the day on Sailor Moon. Listen, they wanted us. You see when we talked about earlier how I got here? Jupiter, like a that. dream. My dream told me to study Jupiter, right? Wow. Wow. This wow. Them so. way. But this is what the man said to me in the dream. The man said to me, Do you know that Jupiter has rings? This is my dream, right? And I'm like, Jupiter doesn't have rings. It's kind of stupid thing is that. Jupiter doesn't have rings. This is my dream, right? I'm like, do you mean Saturn? And like, no, Jupiter. Jupiter has rings. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Right? Like having an argument in the dream. That's okay? And then that's when my aunt basically steps in to bring the balance. And she's like, okay, take this stone. Stop argue. Take this stone. And just go study what the man told you to study. Okay? So Which when I woke up in, when I, I, I don't have it oh. here. It was, it was an aquamarine. Was it was an aquamarine. It was a very small stone. Okay. Um, it was a, I was kind of almost afraid to open my eyes. I mean, to, to open my hand when I woke up because I thought the stone was going to be in my hand. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. a real dream. Yeah, it was like so real.